What's up, guys? We're back again for another Marvel Plus Quest video. Um, we got five star version of Emma Frost, Phoenix Five. We got uh, five star. We got five star Cyclops. We got five star um, Colossus, and now five star Emma Frost, Phoenix Five. We're missing Magic and Namor. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, okay. Oh, they're right here. Magic and Namor. Okay, cool. Um, Emma Frost, Phoenix Five, Five Star Rarity, Affiliations, um, Heroes, X Men, Mutants, Phoenix Force. Cool, 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 cool. All right, uh, abilities listed at 255, or abilities listed at level 255, followed by 450, 72,000, 72,000 health. Um, I hope she's good. Now that we can actually see the stats and everything, right? Uh, red ability. It's a red eight. AP cost and ability, Psychic Flames, um, let's see, Emma unleashes the Phoenix Force, destroying four selected tiles, and dealing 1,019 damage to the enemy team. Okay, so you get selected tile destruction, which is good, like, somewhat board manipulation, I guess, but board manipulation, like, leans more towards, like, you gotta put the tiles wherever you want, not destroy them. So this is like more board destruction. Um, okay, so the AOE is really good. Okay, then completely drain the team's red AP, dealing 155 extra damage per AP drained. Hulkbuster's ability. Um, that's what he's, you know, based off of his red, his uh, blue and black. Generate and put as much red on the board. Generate as much red as possible. Single target nuke. Try to insta somebody. Try to generate 30 red AP as, po as fast as possible. So on and so forth. Um, let's see per AP drain destroyed tiles do not generate AP or deal additional damage. That's fine max level 4095 damage 623 bonus damage. Okay, so uh, Level 450 you get that extra damage Per tile which it does add up And then the AoE still still good really really good um, so I think we said that this power can go one of two ways. You keep the match damage or you hit for AoE. Never seen this type of ability before, unless there's somebody in the game that does that that I'm not that I'm not seeing, which I played like I said, I play play this game 24-7 to try to understand it as best as possible. Like the metas, non-metas, fun team, you know, so on and so forth. And I don't see any other character really doing this let me know if you guys do know of one that has similar similar uh, mechanics all right let's get into this uh level three to level uh to level five destroy destroys five tiles increases abil ability damage by 11 percent ability damage okay so that's psychic flames not the passive the passive is while she builds power emma's phoenix force increases her team's ability her team's ability by 5% plus 2% per red AP. Um, teammates with the Phoenix Force affiliation deal an additional 5% ability damage. Okay, so right off the rip, um, everybody's going to hate this. Or dis hate's a really strong word. Let me rephrase that. Everybody's going to dislike this because Emma Frost, with this ability alone, makes five-star Phoenix Force Colossus even more broken than he already is and keeps him at the tippity top of the food chain in this game and he will continue to be meta in pvp simulator if you do have this character emma frost champed 553 best build right off the rip right you pair her with five star phoenix and or or uh no not five star phoenix excuse me uh five star cyclops or colossus they both have the phoenix force Right, this says uh, Phoenix Force, uh, Emma's Phoenix Force increases her team's damage by 5%. Uh, teammates with the Phoenix Force affiliation. So, C Colossus and Cyclops, but nobody really uses Cyclops because he's not fast. Uh, fast enough, right? But uh, he will pair well with her because his green does generate red AP, if I'm not mistaken, and Colossus tanks. So, that team will be 
I guess I guess you could say somewhat meta in PvP Simulator, but two-day PvPs um, and PvP Simulator, you're gonna be seeing nothing but Emma Frost Colossus and uh, Emma and and PvP Simulator, you're gonna be seeing nothing but Emma Frost Colossus and Five Star Wanda. That is literally the meta for PvP Simulator: Wanda, Colossus, and they just added. They just literally threw more, uh, threw uh, like, threw more wood into flames, right? With Emma, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. But then you're only going to be seeing Colossus more and more. It's going to be more annoying. So be on the lookout for that. This ability just ma just increases that team's tankiness tenfold. Um, honestly, you could literally have this character at five if they would have only given Emma Frost this ability alone and you were able to champ her at 450, that's all she would have needed to just boost Colossus. And then Wanda just adds more fuel to the, you know, more fuel to the fire. That's it, it's just that simple. So uh, this ability without question is going to be at five. You do not put it at three for any means necessary. I don't care what teams you're pairing with her. It just, it stays at five. It's just too broken of a build. It's too broken of an ability, simple. You can hit for AOE late game, or you know you're gonna have 30 AP late game. You're just you're going to. It's like come on now. Um, so level three, destroy five tiles, increase ability damage by 11%. So Colossus already deals enough damage at uh, champ for six AP. He's gonna be dealing 11% more, right? Um, level four deals 1,551 damage. Increase increases ability by 13%, additional 10% ability damage. So 23% ability damage. Wow, that's that's crazy. So this is this only um, this only caters to active abilities, not passives. Take that in mind. You know, keep that in mind. Uh, max level 6,000. 232 damage AOE, right? That's pretty crazy. Um, level five destroys eight tiles, deals 1,639 damage, increases ability damage by 17%, additional 15% ability damage. That's 32% ability damage increase. That's pretty wild. Even Colossus, uh, Colossus's weak, weakest ability, I think, which is his black ability, right? Yeah, I think it's his black ability. I'm not. I might. I might be mistaken. It's his black or his blue. His yellow is the one that incre increases the tankiness. Um, well, whichever one destroys an enemy special tile, it's, it's an active. It's 32% more increased damage, which is insane. So you're going to be basically using that one like at level four when it's when it's at level three. So yeah, Psychic Flames at five. You're not going to want to use the active ability, even though the active ability is, you know, seems kind of juicy, kind of pumped up, right? AOE, Tile Destruction, at will. You get to select the tiles you destroy, so you can cause massive cascades. Um, but keep in mind, only active abilities, active abilities get increased, get the additional ability damage. All right, so let's go down to the next one. Uh, I'm kind of excited for this character, but then I'm kind of not just specifically because I don't want to see any more Colossus. I do have a Colossus of my own. I do not have Wanda Champ, but that's irrelevant. Wanda can get easily countered by Jake Foster. Let's leave that alone for another day. That's another topic for another day. All right, uh, my own best friend, five blue AP. All right, so 553 I said was best build. Uh, Emma Frost's secondary mutation turns her skin to diamond. I hope she does turn to diamond. That's pretty cool, because with Reptile turning into a dinosaur and we're getting, you know, shape-shifting and all that stuff and actual, like, like mechanics and stuff that do that, it's pretty cool. Uh, turn to diamond, making her much more resilient. but making her unable to use her psychic powers. Emma creates a three-turn fortified countdown tile. 
and then shifts into diamond form. Okay, she does. If she isn't already. Okay, so the passive. While in diamond form, Emma's other active powers are un are unusable. So you're not going to be able to use psychic power. Uh, psychic, what is it called? You're not going to be able to use psychic flames, which is basically five star Jean Grey's uh, Phoenix ability. Um, like I said, you're not going to, you know, everything's falling into place the way I'm saying it. And it just makes sense, right? Um, you're not going to use their passives. You don't need to. Uh, or, um, her active abilities, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Create a 3 turn fortified counter tile, then shift into diamond form if she isn't already. So you're going to want to shift into diamond form then first, right? Uh, while in diamond form, Emma's other active powers are unusable. But her match damage is increased by 30%. This is what I'm saying when Colossus and Emma Frost are going to be meta in two day PvPs. Two day PvPs are very crazy they're gonna they're gonna be a lot more crazier than you know than what they are already um damage is increased by 30 percent. her match damage is increased by 30 percent. she takes no match damage and she cannot be stunned okay so she is meta right no match damage and can't be stunned like the game is this is insane i don't know what to say I, I love it i hate it i love it you know both best of both worlds i guess bittersweet i don't know all right so when emma's count on tile runs out or is destroyed she reverts to human form when all teammates are down if emma has no diamond countdown tiles trigger my own best friend uh so this is telling me that let's say you have Colossus and whoever, because everybody's gonna pair Colossus with her. It's just that simple. Makes sense. They're both Phoenix Five. They both pair well together, and we asked for this. We, ha I've been asking for this for years. Characters to pair well with each other because you know, not because of their abilities, but because of who they are. Like Phoenix Five, Avengers, Runaways, Guardians of Galaxy. You know, so on and so forth. Um, so this this passive this passive is basically saying when your team is down, it says when Emma's countdown tile is when Emma's countdown tile runs out or is destroyed, she reverts to human form. Right? When all teammates are down, if Emma has no diamond countdown tiles trigger my own best friend so you're getting a free diamond shift right you're 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 shifting into diamond form for free she is a crazy character for this like i, I that's 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 this is beyond insane and then when she's in diamond form, let's say you're in a 1v2, the enemy can't hit you with match damage. But your match damage just gets increased. And they can't stun you. So, wow. 553 best build right off the rip. If you've been saving for a character to champ, I say favorite Colossus. And I never do this. I don't tell people what to do. I don't like to. Um, this is outside of the character reviews that I do. I would say favorite Colossus and pair her with Colossus. Champ her if you've been saving up for a 5 star to champ. This is the 5 star 2 champ right now when, it, when this character is released. Um, she's, she seems pretty broken. In a simple way, which is simple is better, right? Alright, level 3 to level 5. Um, and I, I said 5, 5, 3. Red and blue at 5. Purple at 3. I'm just going to go over this for you guys. Um... Level 3 increases match damage by 40%. Level 4, 45. Level 5, 50%. Yes. 5-5-3. Five, five, this is a free ability. So, you're not going to be using blue. You're going to be using blue, I think, with Colossus, um, if I'm not mistaken. And Colossus is going to tank, but... It doesn't matter, because if Colossus dies end game, you're going to have a f like almost full health Emma. And then, poof, you win because... 
she don't take match damage and you're just going to be smacking them up with your increased match damage and then even then when you turn into human form again you're going to get psychic flames and you're probably if not i'm like 99 percent sure everybody's gonna have like 30 ap sitting in their pool right sitting in, in the load ready to just destroy the enemy team right that's what i'm saying this character's good you save your active abilities then use them late game if she's the only one left which that's not really the case most of the time but 553 five, best build uh let's let's go over mental block purple at three it costs nine and it makes sense every character has to have that one ability that stays at three that's not that great you know that's that's usable but not the best in the world and needs to stay at three maybe four certain certain cases if the character's not meta or game breaking um but mental block nine purple costing ap ability Okay, Emma projects into her enemies' minds, disrupting their plans and sending them into disarray. She destroys up to one random enemy special tile, prioritizing repeater and count on tiles. Another reason why she pairs well with Colossus because he destroys a targeted um, enemy special tile as well. Uh, okay, then creates a two-turn fortified countdown tile, limit one. That reduces all the active opponent's abilities levels by one. Abilities, uh, all the active opponent's ability levels by one level. Minimum one. So you can only have one of these tiles out. You're going to activate it. Why? Because you can. And like I said, Emma Frost is a good character late game because of this ability as well. Even though it's going to be at three, let's say you're in a 1v1, the character, the enemy team, the enemy character that's left standing can't hit you for match damage because of her blue ability, right? When you turn her into, uh, when she goes, re re reverts back to human form, you use mental block, the enemy's ability that's going to be dealing 5,000 damage to kill you is only going to be dealing... 2,000 damage, 3,000 damage, which gives you an extra two turns, let's say, because of this ability. Their their, abil their ability is going to be at five. You're going to activate this once. It's going to be at four, which is even more not so good, not so great. Um, but, like, anything's possible with this character. 5-5-3, five, five, best build. It's just ridiculous. I can't, I can't say it enough. Some people are going to be like, no, 4-4-5, four, 4-4-5, four, five, four, four, five. like, no. It's just right there. The proof is in the pudding. Look at that. 5-5-3. Five, five, it's ridiculous. This character is amazing. Like, it, like, there's really there's really nothing more to say about this character but but who to pair with in the best build. You guys already know. I'm, you guys can tell that I'm excited because I'm repeating myself about the best build. Um, straight up to three random. Okay, so... Minimum, okay, so level 3 to level 5, I have to do this. Uh, destroys, uh, destroy up to two random enemy special tiles. I would say pair this character against Rocket and Groot, 4 Star, and Polaris and Kitty Pride, but that team is no more. Um, you can beat that team with any team in the game now. Alright, let's see. Level 4, create a 3 turn count on tile. Level 5, destroy up to three random enemy special tiles. Reduce ability levels by 3. Okay, so... Even though this reduces the enemy's ability by three, I still don't care. Five, five, three, best build. Uh, mental block, you can use that late game. Use it, use it late game or early game if you haven't, right? But you're really only going to be focusing on psychic flames and my own best friend. And you get a free diamond transformation when your whole team uh, dies. So that's a big GG's in my opinion. Uh. I, re I really, 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 really love this character. Um, I, I, I love three star lad because that's like I'm in five star land. I've been playing the game for almost nine years. It's gonna be nine years this October. Um, I'm so, so, so happy that they're making three star characters again. Um, I can't wait to see what they got for the future of this game and the other three star characters releases. That's what I'm more excited for. Um, but for all you five star line players, yeah. If you're barely getting into five star land, champ her. She's the way to go. Colossus, Emma Frost. Um, but best build, 
uh, five, five, three, five red, five blue, three purple, right? That's the best build. Um, best team to pair her with. I know in my character uh, guest video, I did say to pair them with Okoye, but I retract that, and I'm just gonna say, you know, you can pair her with Okoye, but Colossus is the numero uno. Uh, he's the number one guy to pair her with. Simple, number one character. And that's just my opinion, guys. Don't don't take my my opinion or what I say in these videos as the end all be all. I just feel like I said. I'll say this again. I said this one time before. Um, I feel like I am eligible for the lack of better words to do these videos and give you guys advice on these characters and so on and so forth because i've been playing the game for a long time i stay on this game 24 7 um i want to dissect this game to the best of my ability and i think i have so i say you know colossus and emma frost in my opinion it's probably going to be the best team in the game uh pvp simulator wanda colossus emma Maybe some people are going to say Colossus and Wanda are still the best characters. Uh, you know, that's still the meta in the game. But like I said, Jane Foster literally, and I know I'm going off topic here. Jane Foster literally destroys Wanda. So Emma Frost and then Colossus. It's that simple. Best build, 553. Five, best team in the game, two-day PvP, Colossus. And whatever Lona they give you. Uh, PvP Simulator, best team, 4 or 5 star Emma Frost is going to be Colossus and Wanda. Um, I think that's it for this video, guys. I guess I can say this is part one of a two-character review. Uh, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, don't take my don't take anything I say as the end all be all, as the the you know the gospel of Marvel Puzzle Quest. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. MPQ is live. I'm out.